in our day. George Washington is sometimes reviled for one reason or another. He was a slave owner, therefore he was evil. There's also the story that is quite true uh, that you'll see sometimes uh, referring to George Washington, his false teeth were taken from his slaves, some of them. We know this to be true because of Washington's ledgers that he bought, bought some teeth from one of his slaves. What you will not hear very often is that this was a fairly common practice for poor people to sell their teeth to a dentist to make uh, dentures. George Washington bought those teeth from his slaves and it was not taken uh, against their will is the point. Now someone might say, well look, they're slaves so they have to do what they're told, right? Well, yes. George Washington, however, was not the type who would do something like that. And I know that to be true because there's an incident in which George Washington, uh, he's in Philadelphia. He wants his cook, who is a slave, to join him and be uh, his cook in Philadelphia. This man said, well, I want this other man with me. I believe it was his son, although I'm not, now I forget. But I want this as my assistant. George Washington said, nah, I really don't want that other guy coming because he's not a very good worker. This cook, who was George Washington's slave, insisted to George Washington, no, I want him with me. And George Washington relented said, okay, he can come. George Washington was not a tyrannical man in any sense of that word. So when he paid for those teeth, the, the slaves who gave up their teeth, whoever that was, did so willingly for the money, just as poor people commonly did in those days.